one game in Detroit. So we would come into a studio where I would do my pre-tapes. So we'd pre-tape some voiceovers, uh, pre-tape the open, you know, where I would just sort of set up the stage for the game. Um, Eddie would often come in there to get away from every, everything, and he sat in the corner of the studio, okay? And so here I'm in, I'm on, and I'm, I got the microphone, I'm doing voiceovers, I'm really getting some energy. I could hear the music in my headset. It's quiet in the studio, but you know, I'm, I'm getting set, and the director's talking to me, saying, okay, here we go, take one, let's go, let's go. And I'm just kind of pumping it, but I would pause when I could hear the music or some sound bites. Well, there is Ed in the corner, and I remember he sat like this, sat like this, you know, reading his notes. And all of a sudden, there's a quiet pause in my voiceover. But from the corner, I could hear... <laughs> <laughs> well, I could hear it. And I just start laughing. And the director's just saying, what's going on in there? But sometimes we did two or three takes. So that wasn't unusual. Well, we did it again. And the same thing <laughs> Any search. Now, now the producer and the director are getting angry with me because they're on a tight schedule before the game. They get things done in the production truck before the game starts. And I think, Paul, get your act together. And I said, Ed, stop it. He goes, what? You're farting. <laughs> he goes, oh, pulling his gun. I'm sorry, kid. I'm nervous. <laughs> anyway, that was Ed before a game. He was truly nervous, not that how, how he was going to do the Flames win or lose. Oh. Everyone has a story. It's time to tell yours.